Eco Psyche, the Italian School of Eco Psychology. We are in northern Italy in the pre Alps, not far from the Lake of Como. And this is the Cascina La Fura, the wonderful place that hosts us for our activities since several years. I'm Marcella Danone, I'm a psychologist. I teach eco psychology in the University of Valle d'Aosta. And uh, I'm the founder of this school that started his activity in 2004. So since almost 18 years, we created here in Italy a beautiful community of psychologists, counselors, teachers, environmental educators, guide tracking, people that just wanted to bring their own life, eco psychology as a view, as a way of thinking, as a way of acting. This is our website. Affonda le radici in ciò che sei e cambia il mondo con ciò che fai. It's the motto of our school, deepen your roots in what you are and change the world with what you do. It's very important for us to have a practical approach to eco-psychology. Ecology and psychology, the big device to put together these two disciplines, one that works in the world within, and the other one that works in the outer world. What's the connection? How we can change the outer world through a personal growth path? And how going deeper inside, we can change the way to approach and to dialogue and to interact with nature. This is all what we deal about. Actually, psychology becomes the fight, a defy to uh, to face the contemporary crisis from the environmental point of view and from the existential point of view. This is our um, ceremony of beginning of the 2019 International Conference in Spain, uh, where more than 100 people gather from 21 countries in order to celebrate the awareness of being deeply connected with the earth and the idea to find ways to facilitate the arising of our earth citizenship, understanding that we can all do something for this planet, for ourselves, for the human family and the non-human communities that lives together with us. Losing connection with the community of life brought a lot of problems to our individual life and our society. And eco-psychology wants to awaken senses, emotions, capacity of looking up details of wonder, of curiosity, empathy, in order to get together again with the world that we are. At the same time, we work a lot on personal growth process, on becoming aware of our personal power, so that each one of us can finally understand who am I as individual, as human being, what do I want, what do life wants from me, and how can I bring my, uh, my capacities, my talents at the service of life in a co-creation with nature. I will open with you our family album and just see a few pictures. This is when we start our activities, our first seminar, we were in Umbria, central Italy, at the Astronomical Observatory of the University of Perugia. From this first, appo first appointment, a lot of people wanted to go deep and deeper in what eco-psychology is. And we start our activities at Parco del Curone, that's here in Brianza, next where we live. That's a special place in order to bring all our activities with a lot of creativities, wonder in nature. And we also go in beautiful places in Italy, before was Sicily, here the Apennines. And again, our this green t-shirt is the what we create for our third international conference of IES then was still EES, was still a European Eco-Psychology Society, and different moments of our work. Also the Spanish families that join us and finish their training here, now they have their own school, and we had summer schools working also with Shatsu and Watsu. 
And since five years, we are in Cascina La Fura, in Ello. That's a wonderful environment that welcomes us in different seasons, with different temperatures, with different situation of the environment. And uh, let's go, these are some, one, some of the projects. This is the one that you will see in the recorded um, speeches about the, this trail Glorophility, where people can experiment a green mindful attitude toward nature. But let's go now to Sardinia. Sardinia, we have Silvia Mongili, pedagogist. She teaches at the University of Cagliari that runs this headquarter. And uh, we are 15 minutes from the seaside and just within this huge pine forest. And we have here people teaching in order to become eco-tuners, to become green coaches. eco um, has a special training in order to become coach, green coach. It's a recognized training from the Association for Coaching. And projects that has been created by the team of Sardinia with youth peoples in schools, with uh, creativity, and in different realities that ask our intervention. For example, here we are in Abruzzo after the earthquake. We came to rebuild communitarian links and working in water and with land art and even religious schools choose to work with eco-psychology. We go now in Sicily, another island, and Carmela Di Carlo, psychotherapist. She is the one who runs this headquarter within the cultural association Calipé. And we had several people that follow here their training. Here we are next to the Etna, the volcano, and this is the headquarter. And here, Veronica Leotta, left side, uh, she's an ecotuner tracking guide, and she, uh, she leads seminars where ecotuning exercises are done in these beautiful landscapes from mountains and seasides in uh, Italy. I'm very proud to present you this. Uh, school and this community we want to help people to grow within in order to change things our website is www.ecopsychologia.it please come and explore we have also some several programs in different languages and uh, thank you for